Hi, how's it going guys? Hope you're all doing well. So in this quick tips video, I'm going to show you how to make Soulful House. Yes, yeah, so a Soulful House, really popular genre. I love producing it. I love mixing it. It's typically my type of warm-up set. That's the style I'd normally play. So yeah, this is going to be fun. Yeah, so I've made like a custom drums folder just for this tutorial. Um, yeah, so there's going to be music parts added to it. We're going to go through it now, but it's going to be available on my website, carlboothmusic.com. Um, it's going to be available for two pounds so if you want to use these samples i feel like you, they might work in your like future tracks uh, you can just click the link and buy it and if you haven't already hit that like and subscribe button and you'll be updated on all of my music content all right let's go on to ableton then okay so this is the folder so far now i'll be adding all the music parts that i record because i'm going to be recording like uh, electric pianos and we're going to be adding things so uh, yeah there's going to be more than this but this is what's like in it so far um yeah we're going to go through this one at a time we'll just throw things in and we'll get like a nice sort of beat going okay let's get this kick drum in then so let's just drag it here yeah i've bounced these out quiet um when it comes to like downloading them this these will already be on the website like all the volumes will be like the, everything will be at the right level so um yeah we'll sort this out now we can push this a little bit there we go and then we'll shorten this kick i think it's a bit long so let's just take a look at it yeah okay we can definitely shorten it so i think we can take it like there maybe put a little fade on it we'll turn this down as well Control and d and we can just blast that across like that there we go okay so let's make a block out of these so we can just drag across Control and j there we go that looks nicer so right let's give that a play then right okay so i think we need to eq it and like take some sort of muddy frequencies out and we'll cut some low end as well so uh, we'll do that now okay so i'm using fab filter pro q3 here you can use any eq doesn't matter uh, i'm just going to double click here and we're going to do a low cut so let's just do this a little bit um maybe do it with 24 yeah i like that and then we'll maybe cut it to like maybe 35 hertz okay we'll just listen to that for now Okay, that's cool. Okay, I like that. What I also like to do, um, yeah, like I say, you can do this on any EQ. I like to scoop out like a good section out of like the 150 hertz area. Right, so I'm just going to double click here. I'm just going to type in here 150 hertz. And I'm going to take a scoop out of this area here. So let's have a look. Um, Let me have a look here. We can drag this down. Okay, so let's click here. Let's try, let's try 48 on this, yeah. So I'm gonna do this here, I'm gonna take a really sharp sort of scoop out here. Say minus three, just to round it off. Yeah, so that's that's pretty good. Um, I'll try that on 150 actually. Okay, yeah, I'm happy with that. So yeah, so we've just took like a big scoop out of here. Yeah, that sounds nice. That'll definitely do for now. Okay, so we can just throw some drums together here. Okay, cool. So let's uh, just colour that red. We'll, we'll name everything at the end. I don't want to get bogged down in that. Okay, cool. So let's go back into the folder then and see what else we've got. So we'll just start with this bongo. We'll just start from the top. So we'll give this a click. Yeah. Got a nice live sound to it. So let's just chuck this in here. We'll turn it up a bit. Okay, right. So let's turn this down and give it a listen on its own. Right, very nice. So we're gonna EQ it, get some low end out of it. Yeah, we'll just use the normal EQ on Ableton. Okay, so maybe we've got a 200 maybe. Okay, cool. Yeah, so we've took that low end out there, so that's gonna leave like more room for the kick to shine through. Okay, cool, that's sounding good. So yeah, these type of samples, like uh, I, like when I try and make Soulful House, I try and use like sort of, like, I don't know if thin's the right word, but like lighter sort of samples. Like I, we're not trying to make a banger, it's all very light brushy sort of stuff, like sort of nice crunchy claps, like sort of thin hats. And, and like, like the Rhodes pianos and like the music kind of does the work. Actually, what we can do is um, we'll pan this uh, a little bit, a little bit right. Um, I'm going to worry about compression in a bit. I'm just going to uh, get everything in for now. Right, let's get a bit of side chain on this so it's like pumping along with the kick a bit. Let's have a look. Right, let's take a listen on its own then. 
So that's when it on. That's when it off. Yeah. Let me do that. Right, that's sounding good. So that should fit with the kick a little bit better now. Got a bit more pump to it. Right, let's go back into this. We've got like a kibasa. We have a nice like natural sound, like a shake, a hat sort of thing. Okay, let's try that with everything. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Cool, right, so we'll colour that orange. No messing about. Okay, see, it's got, it's got like a nice light kind of sound, that clap. I've got three claps here, we're going to layer them up. Take a listen to this. I think it's already been EQ'd, but let's do it anyway. Cool. Oh, I've just realised I haven't EQ'd the Kabasa, so we'll do that now as well. So we'll take a listen to this on its own. Yeah, we take loads out there. There you go, that's all we need. Maybe go up a little bit as well. Okay, we've got a nice little groove already, so let's uh, just keep going. Uh, we'll get the, we'll get the next clap in then. We might as well just uh, throw it straight in. Yeah, a bit more of a crunchier one now. So these are going to layer up nicely. Right, so we'll double click, turn it up a bit. Right, turn it down and take a listen. Yeah, very nice. And that with the second clap. Yeah. They're really complementing each other there. Okay, cool. I like that. Maybe turn them down now. Nice. He's got a bit of like a low end on this. So this is quite... We'll probably have this one like in the centre and we'll pan the other ones left and right just to give it like a sort of like everything has its space. Right, we'll solo it and uh, turn it down. I'll turn it up on here actually. Right, that's cool. Right, yeah, so let's do that then. Well, let's pan one left and one right. So clap one, we'll just take it, maybe 10 left. Put this one 10 right. We could maybe push it further, but we'll take a listen. Yeah, so they're working really nicely together there. So um, like you said, we can probably turn this down. And um, we're going to group them up now, actually. So we'll do that now. Okay, so we'll just highlight everything. I'm going to hold shift there just to highlight the lot. Right click. And just got to group tracks. So we can name this Claps. Actually, while we're here, we'll get the reverb on now. So there's already one on here. I'm just going to use the Valhalla Vintage Verb one, the one I, I always use. You can use a stock one, though. There's nothing wrong with it. I normally just do the same thing. So I've got a default uh, plate. Is it plate? Yeah, and I'll just go to drum plate. Okay, so there we go. So we can actually just drop this maybe uh, about there. That might be all right. And we'll, uh, yeah, we'll take some of this low cut. Leave it there for now. Um, that'll be all right. And then we'll just put this return up here. So I normally put minus 15. And that just, that's just allowing the reverb signal to come through. Okay, so let's listen to these claps with the reverb now. Yeah. Right, I'm liking the sound of that. So let's play everything together. Okay, cool. Okay, really nice. So I'm going to do this to the kibasa and the uh, the bongo as well. So I'm going to group this kibasa because I know I'm going to uh, add some more hats. So we'll just call this hats folder and we'll put the reverb on that group. And we'll take a listen to the, the kibasa now. Yeah. So you can hear that with the reverb there. Cool. I think these claps can come down a bit more. Right, okay, let's do the same with the bongo. We'll group it up and call it percussion folder cool and again the same thing just put the reverb on the uh, the group right we'll hear the bongo with the reverb yeah yeah that definitely sounds better right okay so let's play everything together then that's this is with the reverb now
Right, so we've got a closed tat here. Let's click on this. Yeah, nice. Got a really nice sound to it. It's not too sharp. That's what I'm saying again, like just with the lighter kind of stuff. With soulful stuff, you don't you don't need to be like uh, going crazy with the, the super sharp samples. You want like kind of live, soft, brushy kind of samples. That's nice. Turn it down a bit more. Yeah. I like that, so we'll pan that left, maybe. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's lovely. So uh, I'm going to EQ it once again. Chuck this in here, and just a basic EQ for now. Maybe give this a little boost, we'll see. Just for now, that'll be fine. Okay, so I'm going to colour this orange and then we'll put this into the hats group, uh, which has already got the reverb on it, so it should activate as soon as it goes in here. There you go. Okay, very nice. So let's keep going then. Right, cowbell. Yeah, so we've just got a little cowbell here. Just a little hit every now and then, just to keep like the percussion like grooving along nicely. So uh, let's chuck that in and turn it up a little bit. And we'll turn it down on here. That's cool, yeah. Kind of grooving along with the bongo. We'll try it without the bongo. And that, that'll that sound really good with some reverb on it. So we'll EQ it first, and then we'll get it in the percussion folder. And go on its own. I'll definitely tweak this EQ and more, but um, yeah, we want to get the ball rolling here. Colour it blue, straight into the percussion folder. And we'll hear this with the reverb. Give it a nice sound now. Like I say, we've got a few elements in, but like it's it's already got a nice groove to it. Okay, so we've done the kick, open hat next. Right, so here we go. Yeah, so it sounds like a 909 this hat. I think it's just had like a low like a low cut, like like quite harsh. So it's like it's quite thin that like the hat, but um it works, like I say. I didn't. I didn't want like a full on, like a full on nine or nine. They they don't really fit in these type of tracks with a more laid back sort of vibe anyway. But that's nice. That that'll definitely work. So we'll try this with the hats. Yeah, I like that. Okay, let's just put it straight into the hat group. Okay, cool. Maybe ease off that. Um, maybe ease off that return a little bit. Maybe push it like there. We'll see. I'll tweak it later on. But right, we'll pan this right, twelve right. Okay, and with everything else then. Right. Okay. Shaker next. Yeah, it's got a nice live sound, so we're going to throw this in next, and um, we'll do the same thing. We'll just turn it up a bit. Yeah, nice. And uh, quick EQ, and then we'll a quick side chain, and we'll keep moving. Loads of low end we can take out there. Maybe boost it. Cool. Right, we'll get that side chain on it. Okay. That sounds good to me. And with the rest of the hats then. Right, that can come down a bit. Maybe that open hat can as well. Okay. 
Okay, as long as it's about right, we can just keep moving. We're going to tweak all this at the end. Yeah, great. Okay, next tambourine. So let's get it in. And take a listen. Right, cool. And it should complement the, uh, the shaker nicely. So um, we'll pan them left and right once again. Okay. I want to keep some of them frequencies in because they keep that natural sound. Yeah, that's nice. And uh, what did we um, pan the shaker? 15 left. Okay, I'll do 15 right here then. Just so they're not like clashing with each other. And uh, we'll put them together as well. So there we go. Yeah, and we can probably get a, a sort of LFO tool again. Might not need to be as harsh, but... Yeah, we can probably ease off it a bit. I think there's all right. Right, and then we'll play these two together. Right, let's play the hats together, and then I'll add the percussion and the claps. Maybe bring these up a bit, actually. Yeah, I'm always back and forth with the volumes, like tweaking it. You'll you'll probably do the same thing as you're like building your records. Okay, everything together then. Right, let's keep moving then. Uh, we've got the wood block next. Yeah, nice little sort of clicky sort of noise. These sound good in these type of records. They're only little hits, but they, they end up they, they give a lot of rhythm, and uh, I think they sound great in these type of tracks. So we're definitely going to add this. Turn it right down, and we'll try it with the um, the clap loop. And it's kind of doing a call and response with there uh, the cowbell. So um, we'll play that together with this actually. Yeah, so they're happening after each other. So nothing's clashing. So yeah, it's like question, answer or call and response. So you're going to hear these working together here. We'll do the same thing with a pan and we'll maybe go like 14 left, 14 right. And we'll color this and get this quick EQ on it. Okay. Yeah, so as you can hear, they're, they're like having a like conversation with each other. Cool. We'll try that with a bongo. Maybe turn it down a little bit. All right, and with everything. Yeah, we're definitely getting a groove going here. Right, so we've got an atmosphere record, and I'll show you that in a bit. Sax fill. I'm not sure what I'm doing with these yet, and a couple of effects. All right, we've got this skip and close tap, so I think this is the last of the drums. Yeah, it is. So I'm going to throw this in now. This is just to give, like, a little bit of extra percussion. Um, So we'll give it a play. Like I said, they're just little hits. Very, very basic. So I'll play it along with the clap and the kick. It's kind of just on the off. I would say it's a basic little sort of uh, like rhythm pattern, but like you say, it's effective. Right, there's low end on this we don't need. Yeah, loads of it. So let's just get rid of all of that. That's all we need there just to give room for other things like low down in the mix. Right, that sounds nice with the reverb there. We'll try all the hats then. And pan it and all. Like it's not doing much there, you can definitely hear it in the background, but um, yeah, it all makes a difference like when the music and that's in. Right, so I think that's it for the drums so far. So uh, let's just play all this together then.
All right, guys, so it's the next day. Um, we're back on this project. Uh, so I want to jump onto the music parts now. Uh, we're going to use a Rhodes piano. Um, I'm going to show you what I've picked here. Yeah, so what I've picked is just an Ableton like, stock plug, and it's the MK13 old piano. So I'll play a few chords here so you can hear it. So it's got a really sort of warm sound. You know, these it sounds great in these soulful house tracks. So uh, we're going to get a couple of chords in here, like only two chords. Um, I'll show you the chords now, and then uh, we'll record something. Yeah, so I'm going to show you these chords now, and then, yeah, we'll get something recorded. Um, we're going to keep this very simple and basic. We want it to kind of, like, inspire a bass line. Right, okay, let's talk about the first chord then. So the first chord will be a C minor 7. So the left hand is C. So on the right hand we play G, B flat, C, and E flat. And with the left hand. Okay, so that's the first chord. We're going to be holding that chord pretty much throughout the groove. But we're going to use a second chord to kind of finish the loop. So we're going to be playing a G minor 7. So I'm going to show you that chord now. Okay, so the left hand we play G. On the right hand we play G. B flat. D. And F. So that's G minor 7. Okay, so that's how to play those chords if you're like a keyboard player and you're looking to like learn some new grooves. Okay, so I have a basic idea of what I'm going to play here. Um, I'm just going to play along with the drums now and then uh, we'll, we'll get something recorded. <laughs> Okay, so that was quite basic there. I think that's what we're going to do. Um, another thing I'm going to show you as well, how to get our like, uh, Rhodes piano sounding a bit more vintage. We can uh, mess around with like, the LFOs on there, the auto filter, to give this like a kind of a wobble and a kind of nice sort of tremolo effect almost. But um, yeah, it sounds really cool. So we're going to do that now. But yeah, those are the two chords in that groove anyway. So as you can see, I've done like a quite sort of harsh EQ there. I'm going to talk about this more in a second. First, let's get this auto filter. So let's just grab this here. Um, we'll put this at the start. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to mess around with the LFO. So we're going to click this sort of music note here. And let's move this to quarter notes. Okay, so we've put the rate to quarter notes there. And we're going to put the amount to full. And then we're going to move this frequency and just kind of cut it maybe around like maybe around here now as you'll hear when i play the Rhodes piano now it's going to have like a nice sort of wobble on it and these like sound like the old sort of electric pianos back in the day so um yeah i'm going to play some chords now to show you so if i play that c minor seven chord there we go it's got that really nice lush warm sort of sound i actually got this off another tutorial i think it was waxer disc music um, if you like your funk and soul, you should check uh, his channel out as well. He's really good. Um, yeah, but this is a really cool way to get like your, your Rhodes piano sounding nice and like, wobbly. Right, okay, we might as well just record this in then. There's no point messing around. I might actually extend this. I may extend it more. I'm just going to do a couple of takes here until I get this right. And then uh, we'll go into the MIDI part. <laughs> Okay, so that was a kind of rough take there. So we'll go into the MIDI now and kind of tweak all this. And there, uh, yeah, we'll move on from there. Now, I think I preferred the second take of that. So let's just cut this in half and we'll just use this section here. So I'm just going to press Control and J. Yeah, so we're going to tweak the MIDI. We'll mess around with the velocities and get this like sitting a little bit nicer. And then uh, we'll add some more music parts. So what I'll do first is uh, highlight everything and get everything like that. And then just press Control and U and it should lock everything to the grid. There we go. So at least everything's straight now. Yeah. Okay, definitely needs work. Probably extend that. Just extending these a little bit. 
Right, that's not too bad there. Okay, so I'm going to look at the sort of velocities now. Quickly do this. Um, we'll try and get them kind of like close to each other. They don't have to be perfect, but I don't want this too aggressive sounding either. I want it to kind of like, you can hit these quite hard and they like they growl a lot, these uh, electric pianos. Like, we don't really want that. We just want them soft sort of road sounds. See, that's quite nice there. So what's that on that first note, 86? So I'm thinking maybe just put them all roughly around that area. Like, I'd, I'm not even really looking. I just like, you know, just throw them up there. Like having variety is pretty good as well. Like it keeps your it keeps your instruments from sounding like too robotic. So uh, yeah, you can just keep the like velocities random. Right, let's take a listen to that. Okay, so the notes on that like one, I'm gonna keep them locked to the grid. But these kind of off notes here, can maybe sort of like push them back, just so they're not so straight on the grid. So we can just like move them a little bit. Doesn't have to be much. Yeah, literally that. And we just randomly do it with these ones. As you can see, not all the notes are the same. I've kind of purposely kept them like that. Again, to keep that like sort of human feel. Okay, so let's take a listen to the roads and the kick on its own. Yeah, definitely still needs some work. So I'm going to get another EQ on here just to take some of the low end out. Right, we'll go 120 hertz for now. We'll get that LFO tool on it straight away, I think. Because I think it needs it. It's got that nice wobble on it anyway, but this is gonna help like make it sit a little bit nicer. Okay, let's play everything together then. Colour this a different colour. Um, we'll colour this blue. I've got a reverb on that. I'm going to put a different one on though. Okay, so we're going to get a bass line in here now. Uh, I'm going to use operator for now and then uh, we'll look for like a better sound. And uh, yeah, well, then we'll go from there. Okay, so I'm going to draw in a bass line here. Um, I'm going to click on C. Just do our first note because we're in the key of C. Um, right, and let's just, uh, let's just draw a few things in. <laughs> Obviously, I've got the, like, the octaves high up here. It's just so I can hear it a bit better. And I think we do like a sort of walk down thing. So if I just do that, put it down a half a step. Let's try that. Yeah, and again, so it's walking down that, uh, that, that sort of scale. That's nice. That's all right. I'm just thinking of like the pattern at the moment. Obviously, we're going to change the sound. Yeah. Maybe an octave thing as well. I, and we'll do like a fill at the end, actually. Yeah. I mean, this takes time. It's all trial and error. But um, yeah, we'll get something eventually. Down one more. Yeah. That, I like that. Okay, so we'll keep going. I think it's there. F, so we want to put an F up here. Sorry, no, 
sorry, to the I think actually that could go like that as well, so. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so let's hear this on its own. We still need to tweak it, but I, like, I think the pattern's kind of right, so let's take a listen. Okay, that's pretty good. So we're going to drop this down. Okay, so that's a little bit nicer. It's definitely got a good little groove to it. So let's play that with the Rhodes piano. This should, like, it's in the same scale, so this should work. It should sound nice. Okay, cool. Right, um, let's get a side chain on this just so it's ducking. I think I'm going to change the sound as well, but it still needs a bit of tweak in this. Right, okay, so that's pretty cool. So we're going to offset some of these notes again, like we did with the Rhodes piano. Let's have a look. So these three here, we can offset them. The ones that aren't like on the on the one, like on the kick and the clap. So I want to leave that one, two, because they're on the kick and the clap there. So we can move them as well. You can kind of see on the grid which ones you can move anywhere, but I like to just take a listen. Right, okay, so I've just offset them a little bit there. Right, let's give it another try. Yeah, that's got a really nice sort of funky groove to it. Yeah, it's definitely enough for us to move on anyway. Okay, so I found a preset in Operator, which will definitely do for now. Uh, it's just called Guitar Bass. So, yeah, so if you go to Operator, just click on this arrow here and then go down and you can go to Guitar Bass. There it is. And just drag that in. Yeah, so it's got them nice bright tones as well, which is what we're looking for. But it has those subs as well. We might have to boost the subs a little bit. But um, yeah, this is the kind of sound I'm looking for. And with the kick drum. actually going to do is I'm going to go into uh, sound toys and I'm going to put some processing on this bass. So let's just go to Decapitator. Okay, so I've just turned off the LFO tool there just so I can hear this a bit better. I'm going to go to presets here on their uh, sound toys. Let's go to bass and then beefy. I'll just go for the top one there. Right, let's take a listen to this. Really fattens it up there. Uh, what I'll do, I'll turn that kick off and I'll turn this off and on so you can hear it. So that's off. Really giving it some more welly there. Okay, cool. So I'm going to leave that on for now. We'll get that side chain back on. Right, so that's got a bit more presence in the mix now. We can get an EQ on it as well. We want to keep a lot of the highs of the bass in here because that's like the sound we're going for. But we can do a cut here, I think. Right, once again, we'll listen to the roads and the bass line. with everything else. Yeah, also this uh, road needs a, a reverb on it, I've just noticed. So let's uh, let's go in here and create a new return. And we'll go back to Valhalla Vintage Verb and uh, we'll get this on this second return. And I always use the tiled room. Yeah, I use that. Maybe go like that. 200 hertz. Yeah, so we'll push the decay up. Maybe uh, there. So I'm going to add this to the road. So I'll create a group and add it to the group. 
and then just put minus 15 as always okay and we'll take a listen to this roads now with the new reverb on it so with it off so with it on so yeah this is like this about the same size of like a full groove like maybe after the drop so we'll just treat this like our sort of track arrangement and we'll sort of add stuff and uh, we'll take stuff away and bring it back in. Right, so I'll take this little gap off here just so it looks like we've got a bit of an arrangement going. How about maybe the bongo, we put that in halfway through just to keep this sort of going. Okay, so let's take the open hat out there as well, actually. Should we just take things away just to keep this interesting? Okay, so there's not that much more to do now. Uh, we're going to add that crash next. Uh, I'm not going to do this uh, folder here. We've got like a vocal shout we're going to add. This sort of like uh, atmosphere recording. It's just a recording of like like someone, like people in a cafeteria, I think. Um, I'm just going to take a little snippet of it and like play that in the background. Uh, we've also got a sax fill here. Uh, and the sweep dance. So once I've done that, like we, like the groove is sort of done. Okay, so let's get this crash then. Uh, let's go in here. I haven't picked one, so I'll just type crash. Let's go in here. Um, and we'll just try and find a light one. Right, okay, so let's get this crash in then. So we'll just drag this in. There we go. Right, turn it down and we'll just put this in the middle. Just like that. Right, so we'll take a listen with everything. <laughs> Okay, that's cool. Um, we'll just try the kick and the crash. That's nice. Right, so we'll take some low end out with that because we definitely need to do it. Yeah. Right, so I'm going to put on a nice crash delay here. I'm going to use H delay from Waves. Um, let's have a look here. H to there. Right, so I'm just going to put this on the actual crash channel. Okay, cool. So I've got a preset saved here. Yeah, it's just Carl crash delay. So I'm going to click on that. And then this should make this crash sound nice here. Yeah. Okay, cool. I like that. Yeah, we'll stick with that. Right, with everything else then. Okay, brilliant, I like that. So let's just go ahead and get these uh, effects in here as well. So we have a sweep down and a sweep up. So let's get the sweep up. Let's put one there. And we can definitely shorten this, so let's do that. Turn it right down. Turn that down. Pan it left. That's quite nice. Cool. Get an LFO tool on it just to give it some bounce. I pretty much put an LFO tool on like every every sample I uh, use. Or like pretty much anywhere. Okay, so let's quickly put the sweep down in. We can put the same LFO and the same EQ on it. Do that. Put a fade on it. And then we'll get this over here. We'll put one of these over here as well. We'll get one of these on here as well. Right, so let's copy these uh, two things here. So highlight them both, drag them, hold control, and just drag them into there. So now we've made a copy, or 15 right. I think that can come down a bit. Yeah, not too loud. We don't want these overpowering, so to highlight these white for effects, I like to colour coordinate like this. Okay, so next in the folder, we're going to add this final crackle. So we'll get this in quickly. Very easy to sort out. Okay, so if we take a listen, you'll hear it's just like a needle touching a record. You can find plenty of these like online, like YouTube or like Splice. Right, we need to cut the low end off this final noise though. So let's do that now. Yeah. Let's take all of that. Turn it right down. There you go. Really quiet in the mix there. You can see you can barely hear it, but it's definitely adding a layer, so. Yeah, I could use a 
side chain though. Quickly do that and then we'll move on. Right, so we'll colour that grey for background. Put that in a group as well. Call that backgrounds. Right, so let's look at the folder again. Right, so we've got this atmosphere recording. So let's just get this in. This is like quite a long recording here. So we're just going to take a little snippet of it. Right, so let's take a listen. We'll turn off the air warp. Maybe try that then. So I'm going to make that cut there and just delete the rest. Again, with the vinyl noise, you're not really going to hear this. It's just more of a, like a texture. But uh, yeah, we're going to side chain it and uh, like, yeah, turn it right down. Play it along with a kick like we did, um, like we did the vinyl noise. Right. Another EQ, get the low end off. okay and another side chain once again okay cool yeah that'll definitely do right so let's just get that across then and we'll put that in the background folder with the vinyl noise right so put that in there with that and we'll listen to these two together very quiet in the mix Right, so I think the last thing in the folder is just this like sort of atmosphere synth sort of noise. Yeah, so it's in the key of F. So I'm gonna have to pitch this. Right, okay, so let's throw this in and we'll take a listen. That's nice. Yeah, they've got a cool atmosphere effect. Okay, so this sample is in F, so we need to pitch it up to C. So like using music theory, we can transpose it up. So from F, we can go F sharp, G, G sharp, A, a sharp, B, C. Okay, so this should be in the key of C now. So I'll try it with the Rhodes piano now. Nice. So we just have it in the background, like grooving along. Okay. Cool, yeah, I like that. What we can do with this though is add some ping pong delay, make it a bit more trippy sounding. That's cool. Maybe drop it a little bit. Okay, I like that. Quick EQ. And a quick side chain as well. Yeah, that'll do the trick. Okay, cool. So I'll get this all the way across and let's throw this into the music folder. Yeah, so there's a sax fill as well that I forgot about. So we're going to add this in this little gap here. Um, we'll give this a play. What I'm going to do with this, I think, is add like a big sort of like delay and make it sound a trippy sounding. Um, yeah, I think that's going to work nicely. So let's play this from here. Right, cool. Yeah, so it definitely needs um, some reverb. So we'll bump that up a little bit. Actually, no, we can put that in the group, can't we? So we'll put that there. I like it, it needs to come down dry wet and I think their feedback needs to come down a bit as well. Let's go try that. That's nice. Yeah, so the sax fill can go there, we'll add that little vocal shout we've got and then I'll, I'll add the string and then I'll do a jam over the top. So let's play this from here so you can hear this sax fill like in its entirety. Yeah. 
right, so we can get this vocal shout in now. Again, we're going to do like the same sort of effect with the saxophone fill. We're just going to add like a massive delay on it and like kind of treat it like a texture as opposed to like an actual vocal. Um, I'm going to put that there and that there because that'll complete the loop. Um, right, so I'm going to turn this down and we'll give it a play. <laughs> What I might do is just copy that ping pong delay that we used on the sax fill. We'll just use it on the vocal as well. Might as well. But that's alright, you could do with an LF4. Right, nice. Get a reverb on that. Pull that green because it's a vocal. Okay, so we'll try this vocal shout from here one last time. Alright, cool. Like that. So next, we'll get that string in now. So I'll use the string that I always use uh, from Epic Strings. And we'll just put a single note in. This doesn't have to be complicated at all. So yeah, this is uh, Epic Strings from Spitfire Audio. Um, yeah, I use it all the time. So I'm going to highlight all of this here. We're just going to hold a C note. So very simple. I drag it all the way across. Turn it down on here. <laughs> there as well okay so let's get the EQ on it and we'll cut some low end off Okay, so that's smooth that a little bit, made it like a little bit more dull. I've kind of just like pushed that down a bit there on the EQ. Okay, so we'll get an LFO tool here, put that there, and we'll listen to this string. Okay. Yeah, I like that. And what we'll also do is filter it in as well. So let's get this filter, quickly do some automation. Yeah, so there we go, I've just clicked on the frequency here, and I'm just going to draw this and put it in halfway through. So. Hold Alt, and we'll put a curve on it. While I'm here, you can also get a reverse crash. Okay, so let's get this reverse crash quickly. We'll throw this on. Yeah, like I said before, all these samples will be available on my website. Just click the link below, and you can buy all of these samples for £2. So if you like what you hear, it's available. So happy days. Right, we'll colour that the same colour. Quickly get that in there. LFO tool with some more bounce on it. That's fine. Light EQ. I'm going to play this all the way through now for you, and then I'll do like a little quick sort of jam, like a soulful jam on the electric piano. And uh, yeah, then we'll just wrap the video up, guys. <laughs> Okay, so that's the full groove. Now, obviously, if I was making like a track from scratch, I'd be like taking more time, like getting this right. But as far as like an hour of whatever we've done, I think we've got a lot done there. Uh, and yeah, I'd always go back and listen to stuff with fresh ears and tweak and change things. But yeah, th so far, this has been great. I've enjoyed doing this one. Okay, so I've just pulled up another Rhodes there. I've just pulled up there the old school Rhodes. So yeah, really nice Rhodes plugin. We could maybe make some changes here. Um, 
space let me bump that a little bit yeah so we can just throw a ping pong delay on this as well so when we're doing little fills it's gonna it's you know it's gonna make a nice delay like a nice effect let's try that <laughs> Very nice. Okay. Right, so I'm going to do a quick little jam for you here and then we'll wrap the video. Thanks very much for tuning in guys. I really hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, like I said before in the previous video, we're going to be trying to do at least one of these a day or one every couple of days. I'll be uploading a new tutorial and all the samples will be available. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. If you want to get hold of these samples, just click that link below and you'll get direct access to it. Okay, thank you so much for tuning in guys. Really hope you took something from this one and I'll see you very, very soon for a new tutorial. Alright, take it easy guys. Cheers.